Only play <laughs> with friends. At, at the VGA <laughs> Awards, Beaker was like using a virtual headset to play the Goose game. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But then like people were taking clips of them playing like those naughty ones when fondle girls breasts and they moan and he was just like, ah! <laughs> it was the funniest thing for like an hour, then it lost its luster. The VGAs was Jeff Keighley's big day out. He destroyed um, Dirty Joe or Angry Joe or whatever his that name was, is. That was the most like insane slam down I've oh, ever God, seen. Oh god, yeah. Like, Wait, angry... did Jeff Keighley fight Angry Joe? Yeah, yeah he beat to the No, what happened was Angry Joe tried making Jeff Keighley look like a big dumb asshole by asking him stupid questions, but Jeff Keighley had the perfect response That's for so every cool. question to make Angry Joe look like a complete idiot. Oh yeah. It was like rapid fire. Every time Angry Joe said a word, Jeff Keighley made Angry Joe look like a fucking idiot. And then Angry Joe made a video of him walking in front of a green screen and like throwing his arms up and be like, Did you see that? He made me look stupid! <laughs> this is not this is not how I wanted to do it. Come so on, you got, you, you you're can't, attacking me on the independent so game, which is look, not what it is this year. You're telling me MMO should be nominated for game of the year, yet you can't name the MMOs it should be. Look, and you're telling me that you don't know who's voting on the awards when it's public. Straight up f with me, disrespecting me. You see it in his eyes. Dude, Angry Joe made a beat by beat remake of Dragon's Ball P and put it at the beginning of his Kakarot video. He made it beat for beat. Are Did you serious? Like, I'm serious. Like every joke? Like he every every joke. With Joe too, the big buff yes. like, Mongoloid. Yes. Who's super ripped and handsome? Exactly. Unfortunate. You, you big smelly willy. That's what you get for acting to Mickey, Virginia! It was very bizarre to see that. He's got like his buff brother, which takes forever yeah, to get to the joke point. Imagine you you spend every day of your life getting really buff, and then your fat friend starts a video game show, <laughs> and then he owns you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just that he would was ahead suck. Of me. He was ahead of me. You can't say that. <laughs> You're right. I kind of got the same thing if going on. If I was on. handsome, ripped, and got all the ladies, and I had a video game show, I don't have to hang out with you fucking nerds. <laughs> That's kind of mean. I, get, I thought I get, we had a lot of history, and then we liked each other. We, well, we do, but I'm, you know, I'm handsome, and I can start my own religion. That's, so. yeah, okay. I'm just kidding, Chris. If I ever became really handsome and chiseled and got, like, a new face, I would still be your friend, and I would act the same way. No. In fact, I would share some I, of my handsomeness be, with you. Yeah, I'd be problematic, and I, my gaming show would feature all my friends. That's what that's what Angry Joe did. Yeah. Even though he's a thumb person, his his brother's like buff and not. <laughs> I don't understand why you'd say that, but okay. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? If he wasn't angry before, he's gonna be now. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why you've got such a vendetta. Like he didn't do anything. I don't have a vendetta against him. You don't have to have a vendetta to compare him to something. <laughs> that's okay. I guess that's fair and nice and fair. And nice and bullshit. Why is she made out of fucking road signs and shit? Uh, cause you gotta, you gotta take caution. Take ca yeah, damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> Did you guys see my new TikTok? Do you have popular music playing and mouth the words to popular music? Is yeah. that all TikTok fucking does? I don't know. I can't use it cause it's, I'm 30 years old now and I'd feel bad using it. Put a baboon's ass on that guy yeah. right now. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> 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 but is great. <laughs> a robot with biological asshole. <laughs> My perfect dream. I didn't realize it was My vision realized. Uh, oh, start oh, getting. because someone got a little hot. Yeah, Corey, you fucking <laughs> baby. I admit it was quite hot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if your fucking baby coos and whines don't, don't mean nothing to me because I'm not the one who turned <laughs> off the fucking console. I guess that's true. <laughs> Everybody's equally at fault except for me. And me. I'm not at fault. I didn't do anything wrong aside from being hot. Oh, I'm so sorry. This game would be better if there was like let, less flying around, having fun, more kind of, you know, just chilling. Yeah, just chilling going. Beat. I wish we were in I want to go like, collect apples and like bring them home. <laughs> I, I hate how you ha you have all these like sweeping landscapes. I kind of wish you were just in like a dilapidated old broken down ghost town the I whole time. I want a big brown cave with no fucking discernible features and I want to get lost in there. Yeah, I, I like that. I like when games are realistic, just like real brown caves and <laughs> shitty fucking boring towns. I want to do combat with gray characters. <laughs> can can we have that happen, please? Yeah, can we make everything like one color? Oh, it's this that dude. guy! I, I struggle with this motherfucker. This guy took me like an hour and a oh half my to God. beat. He was so hard. This and is I'm an awesome, idiot. Though. When I got to him, I had no health. Viper? 
Yeah, this is probably the best boss fight in the you entire think? game. I don't remember I think it. so. It's fucking awesome. Ah! He this, make you go boom, boy. Well, this isn't the boss fight. You gotta, you gotta work your way up. Are you to just it. flying through the air? Oh my ah! god! No, you're gonna, you, you're fine. Oh, it's sick. Ah! Get on your BT. How come you didn't break your tailbone, huh? Uh, I did. I just don't give a fuck. Robo, let me in. <laughs> you gotta follow BT. Sometimes the extraterrestrial. Uh, I degaff. <laughs> Wait, no, the Bextra Terrestrial. Actually, BT should stand for Big Tush and... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it stands for Big Tight. Big Tuck is... <laughs> Does it? Big yeah, that's why this game's called called Titanfalls, because Big Tight is, uh... No, it's Big Tush. He's tight as shit. Uh, yeah, Big Titty. <laughs> oh, I love this fucking, uh, this fucking Trust bullshit. Trust me. Throw. Good work. Ah! Um, Here I go. Uh, yeah, oh, I think you're fuck. gonna miss. Ah! Oh! Oh, all right. <laughs> the six floor. So fucking cool. Thank you, Roboni. You do me a favor and hijack that thing GTA style. Uh, the guy in here is my pal. You kind of need him to direct you because you're going hyperspeed right now. I dare you to like shoot at things and blow them up. Okay. <laughs> you're fucking kicking ass and. Ch Chewing bubble gums. And taking names. Do you think Mario wears socks under those shoes? Definitely not. Mario? Yeah. He's I've, got foot rot. And he's he's trench foot. That's yeah. a good question. I don't think I've ever seen Mario with his shoes off. I've seen Sonic with his shoes off. Yeah, they made a point of it in the Sonic movie to have Jim Carrey digitally reconstruct Sonic's foot in 3D. Didn't he have six toes, apparently? That's, Does he? That's what someone said. There was the fart joke and there was that, so they were definitely poking fun at fetish shit, right? They know Maybe? their audience. See, we interpret it as that, but little children see it as funny fart jokes and ha-ha stinky feet. But in my eyes, it's the Hollywood producers are like, we need to make children fucked up little monsters, this is how we do it. That's, they, that's the, what we most need to, adults think, We need yeah. to get them to the world of feet. Yeah, exactly. Kids are too busy, busy worrying about their V-Bucks they're gonna spend. They're, they're deconstructing <laughs> society. With Sonic's feet. <laughs> exactly. I guess that makes more sense than I'd like to admit. There's a reason why Sonic's feet was in a movie and it's the top grossing movie currently out currently. Yeah, it's the top gross movie, am I right? <laughs> Yuck. <Grossing. feet. laughs> Is there any other movie that's out right now that can rival that of Sonic? Uh, no. Exactly. It's kind of February. It's not the time for movies. You know what's funny is it's Deadpool 2. It's the time 2. to be quiet. Deadpool 2 <laughs> came out around this time. Remember it came out on Valentine's Day as well? Deadpool got fucking old right after the first movie. By the time the first movie was out, I was already sick of him. Yeah, we did the gags. Because I was like seeing him breaking. like propped up in 7 Eleven selling me shit. Like this, this is normie shit already. Yeah, it doesn't it suck when that shit happens. We were talking about <laughs> we we're talking about how Stranger Things is like the most like normie fucking like Netflix show. They ruined the never ending story theme song forever. That was a song I actually had had a place in my heart, and now it's ruined because of TikTok and that fucking Stranger Things. Really? So are you saying they ended the story? Yeah, yeah. kinda in my in my life. <laughs> I thought the story was ended after the fucking rock climber was like, "Hey, it on the highway." I, I, I just <laughs> you remember that. That doesn't count. That's one of the shitty sequels that no one likes. Well, that was Never Ending Story. The Never Ending Story one is this magical movie to me, and I it's love the, it. Listen, Chris, as much as you hate the Never Ending Story. You, Never replace the first one. It's okay to like it. No, I love the first one, but uh, that's what I hate about that scene Stranger Things is that they just sing it for literally no reason just just to say yeah we, we it was in the 80s, so we have to put it in there I hate it when you can tell how someone wrote a scene like like it's the same shit in Zombieland where it's like Bill Murray walks in He's like you're my mansion on Bill Murray and uh, all, all it really boils down to is like the people wanted to meet Bill Murray So they shoehorn him into the movie. That's kind of what uh, Keanu Reeves has become. Yeah, that's the, the, the shoe in. The producers like, name. want to meet Bill Keanu Reeves, so they shove him into the SpongeBob movie. They shove him into whatever. He's in anything. Anybody like everyone's Keanu Reeves' best friend. And don't get me wrong, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I I'm like just, Keanu Reeves. Let me also play kind of like the devil's advocate against. Like, what if he's a stuff? piece of shit and everyone's just like singing his praises? I don't they, know. They don't even know him. But... TMZ hasn't caught him enough, and there is too <laughs> many situations where he's just a nice guy. IRL. No, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. I'm just saying, like nobody knows him personally. 
personally, so everyone should just shut the fuck up about it. His dad does. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe you're right. His family knows him. No, I don't but know. Like, I've, I've kind of learned over time that if I'm kind of okay with something, to not make the monkey's paw wish of, like, why doesn't this just stop? Because it's almost always replaced with something fucking terrible. That's a good point. That's a good point. So I'm, like, kind of sort of okay with Keanu Reeves. I, I don't want to... I don't want to poke the bear by what being like... What would be worse? The Rock? Literally, like, I don't know, like, three quarters <laughs> of anything. No, no, I remember, you're right. I remember, like, back in the day, I used to be like, man, I'm so tired of, like, Slipknot and corn, <laughs> and then it got replaced by, like, fucking Garbo, so, like, I, I don't know. Nickelback? Yeah, I mean, even Nickel... I'd take Nickelback at this point. I'll take Nickelback over Limp Bizkit. I fucking hate yeah, Limp Bizkit. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take Nickelback over, like, Billie Eilish. All I'm saying... Oh, <laughs> yes, God, you're so I right. I fucking hate that I bitch. I would, too! No, but you're so right, but all I'm saying is, uh... I hate it. just celebrities being shoehorned into things where they don't really belong. Like, uh, like Norman Reedus and Death Stranding is just completely. It's, it's just he wanted to meet Norman Reedus because he was a big fan. That yeah. was it. Like that's literally all. Like that's it. He played just like a monotone, simple character. He didn't really like carry anything above like, anything else. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Like, the, like you've got this technology, video games. You could just literally create a new character. But no, let's put a celebrity in there because you wanted to meet them. There is something I wanted to say. Um. Who's the, Project CD Red? They're the ones doing the uh, the new um, cyberpunk game, right? That everybody's like freaking out about. You know, I recently played The Witcher Three, and it's a really good game. Ooh. Yeah, but it is. I love the world of The Witcher Three. Like, I like the 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 weird mystery with like the weird monsters and shit. And I like how Geralt is like this guy who like he he's a sweet talker to like sorcerers with nice titties, but he's also like really smart and he's like a detective and he knows his homework and he knows all about the monsters and shit of the world. Yeah. Why do you get a low frame rate arm here? That is, uh, because shut up. I'm actually controlling this by the way. Yeah, I know that's cool. That was weird. Sorry, continue. But when they first had the first reveal chair trailer Kaya. Tra sorry I had a stroke <laughs> and Keanu Reeves came out and everybody was like cheering yeah. that kind of put a pit in my stomach because I was like oh god because like that would be like if you were playing like the Witcher and then yeah like Norman and Reedus Henry came Cavill out. Yeah, shows Henry, up. sure Henry Cavill I don't know who the fuck that is but Henry Cavill he's comes the guy out. who plays him in the show and he's Superman and he was remember he's uh, he yeah. was like I will be Superman it just but sets I will not red shave. flags yeah it just shows me that like are they confident in their IP because they don't necessarily have to have him in this game because people wanted this game no matter what what? By the way, this is what I was talking about where I died for like fucking uh, yeah, two I've straight hours. It's <laughs> really hard. So save your batteries. Yeah, no, I, I, I just, the tone's broken. I'll just sit back here and fucking be that. It's really annoying. This boss fight is fun because you're fighting him on like an airship, but I don't like how you have to fight dickheads first before you can fight him. I don't like how you have to back sass me when I'm just trying to do my job. Do better than me. You should have seen my fucking rage in this shit when I was playing on the PS4. <laughs> I was streaming it. Was, everyone was making fun of me because I'm bad. Jokes on you, I've always been bad. Jokes, jokes at you, assholes. <laughs> You're doing good though. Yeah, I'm doing alright. I'll probably, I'll probably win this. I'll probably get like a couple girlfriends after this for how good I played it. But you know... You you don't gotta worry about don't me, Corey. I'm not I'm not coming for your for your territory. So you welcome. What territory? Your territory. Your ability Listen. to fight Viper. Yeah, <laughs> Lyle. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> How much of Death Stranding did you play? Uh, I played like maybe like an hour or two of it. I didn't Same. get very I far. Did, I did exactly. I played two hours and I was like, this sucks. And Unbelievably, I never it Jeff actually beat the game. So did Dave. Yeah, and Dave. Beat I, it. Well, um, Dave of course beat it because he loved. He loves Ke Hideo, 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 Hideo. I actually Hideo wasn't Hideo hating Hideo. it. It just like I wasn't getting into it, and I, I was like, man, this seems like it's gonna take a long this is fucking time. As fuck. Yeah, but uh, I, I wanted to know how many celebrity cameos you you would have seen if you had gotten far, because I know there's a shit ton. Oh yeah, probably. I know Jeff Keighley's in it. I know. <laughs> I know fucking Conan O'Brien is in it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Damn, you fucking knocked that shit out. It's parked pretty damn fast. Oh, we're pretty close now. Imagine if Metal Gear Solid like started with everyone being a celebrity as a character. I'd weep. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did that. They replaced uh, David Hayter with fucking Kiefer. Th uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, and they did. Uh, what was it? Uh, the, the voice actor guy is Ocelot. The voice actor guy? The voice actor guy, fucking. Oh, uh, the I know who you're talking about. Um, uh, the gingerbread man. If they made a new Metal Gear Solid game, 
these voice act roles would be a part of like no! a pachinko. It would be like no! a pachinko legend. No! He's a fucking him up! Ah! It would be like a pachinko game, but you, you like, there would be like that, voice Corey. acted cutscenes during your pachinko turn. Don't hurt my robot friend! My robot! You dick! You shot him! Fuck Viper. He fucking ripped his arm off. <laughs> he does a little thumbs up. Yeah, step hold his mission. He knows his job. So he's got a fastball your ass. Well, you need to be careful. You're gonna hit that rock. Well, wow, watch out for the steaming burn fire. Uh, correction. Whoever is in this fucking plane is gonna hit that rock. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm gonna hit that rock. Yeah, but Because now you're inside the plane. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna hit that rock. Get out of here. Dude, this shit's awesome. They're looking for escape pods. <laughs> How come everyone's so afraid? Because there's a big fucking 20 foot robot walking towards them. Yeah, and if he Remember? catches up to him, he's going to say oogie boogie boogie and tickle him, and they're going to be like, stop it, stop it. And he's not going to stop it. Eventually, he'll stop it, but it's going to be a little bit after they would have, like. <laughs> Is this the time travel? Is this, like, the time control thing? Yeah, well, it's the thing they were making there. Honey? Uh huh? They're making honey? Yeah, they're making honey. They, they've created human bee synthesis. <laughs> now you're becoming a bee. Now we will vomit up the sweet goo. Quickly, we need to get off the ship. We are running out of time. He sees the bees within. He <laughs> feels bees! inside himself the ability to vomit honey. This Play. game's so political. It's all about bees. Save the bees. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah what, what's the bees supposed to represent? Uh, bees. Well, BT didn't see that coming. Yeah. Uh, uh. What are you doing? He's covering you up. Get the, Get the art. Negative. We are trapped. I will Sorry. Another pilot. <laughs> well, I'm trapped because you're on top of me, you hunk of yeah, shit. Yeah, you're holding me in a metal <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> no! He's like, sorry. Affirmative, we're trapped. The and now you're dead. The robunculus. I am being silly. <laughs> <laughs> the robunculus killed you. You got captured, see? And that guy's pointing up. He's like, that's the direction we're gonna throw him. <laughs> <laughs> the fold <laughs> weapon. Your payment will be transferred by the Get item. Just have my money ready. See, it's foreshadowing. This chapter is called The Fold Weapon because I'm gonna make an origami ninja star. Location like in math unknown. class, I'm gonna throw it at him. Not recognized. <laughs> oh no. They ripped up your robo. Aww. They're gonna torture him. I'm gonna punch your fucking head. Listen, hero. You have I'm not afraid of you. Your haircut's ridiculous. Go on. Tell your titan to I like all his little up. canisters say he he he. I'm so scared you're pointing a fucking knife at me. BT, BT. open the hatch when this guy's when dead! Hatch. When this guy's dead. <sighs> Damn. You know, I wouldn't be running my tongue with a knife pointed at my face and being tied up. Yeah, well, unlike you, I'm brave. I would comply. <laughs> even though I would die. I will he doesn't seem like a good guy. Pardon well, if you shoot me, you can't get into the robot. See, that's what I don't understand, wait, right? Wait, wait, what's happening? He's trying to get the the. Gone. I know. I want to hear the robo. Stand him up. <gasps> He's gonna torture him, him. Right here, right here. Yeah, you see him now. <laughs> Functions compromised by severe crash damage. <laughs> I don't care how broken you are. I know deep down. What's some it things, did? some things. Can I at least get some water or something? <laughs> I feel so bad for the robot. He's hanging his eyeball in shame. You still remember number He got one, caught two. jerking I'm off. <laughs> I never understand in movies. One. Look, I was gonna say like why they threaten to shoot someone because if they shoot them, then nah. they're dead, and then they, you have no reason to give them the thing anyways. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like so. So it's like I need information. It's like well, I'm not telling you. Maybe you'll tell me if you're fucking dead. It's like no, I'm still not able to tell you. Oh, fuck. No! I know it's to create this. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> if he had that the whole time, why didn't he just fucking blast the guy while he was turned around? I think he was looking for an opening. No! Oh, no! No! He pulled out his belly button! <laughs> That's the synthetic beast. Give that back! No! 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 I'll just 
just take her robot. I missed that guy. Yeah, he was a good time. You got a female robot now. Fembot? Ooga booga. <laughs> Corey, you're kind of a fembot, I've noticed. I mean, I would be in the female robot. No. You'd if you be could a belly button scratching male robot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> With my happy no! trail on my robotic skin. Scratches happy trail, looks around. Where is everybody? <laughs> Like, oh, my personification is just like this fat <laughs> mongoloid who doesn't care about itself. A hairy robot. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Jarrell kept my organisms intact, a but genius. he turned me into a robot. A genius invention. Aw. No you, you could, you just gotta take the fire yeah, out of your you, belly, stupid. You just gotta... You gotta poop out a little robot. Just take off his hand and bring it with you. Just be like, uh, like Piccolo in Dragon Ball. Spit out a robot egg. Is that, is that his brain or his, what is that? Yeah. It's his brain! It's his little head. That's all you need, he really. Just tore his own dang head off. I think, what does it have? It's got scuba gear. No freaking oh, way. He, gives he you had a gun? an emergency gun. What a bro. Bro to the end. Yeah, that's the ultimate bro. Always packing. A uh, hunter knife. Stab him in the eye. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> robot. I never loved you. There, yeah, that's that's his little microchip. He's gonna stick it in the pretty robot. That's all yeah. you need, really. And then he's gonna bang her. Oh, I got the the smart pistol. That was a uh, super broken weapon in Titanfall One. Really? Yeah, it's real cool. Really? How yeah. was it? What What was good about it? You don't remember? No, I didn't really play Titanfall one. Oh, I, I mean, didn't like multiplayer. It's good in Titanfall only. two, but they made it a power weapon. Cause wow. check that out. Oh, look at that! I forgot. I th I think the reason that they designed it in Titanfall one is because everybody's always running on walls and jumping around. They wanted to have something that kind of like painted targets and hit things so that you wouldn't be missing all the time. Yeah, but, but it curves bullets. Yeah, it just it just became super broken. It, it has auto lock. Like fucking curves bullets. Why would you use any other weapon? It's like when you play Halo One. It's like why would you use any other weapon when the pistol is like thirty times stronger than anything else, <laughs> and you can kill everybody in like four hits? It's like, uh, it's just I'm silly. not a fucking goose like you. That says nothing to do with Master anything. Chief, I, I like to mix it up a bit. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, but I mean, it's okay to be a pistol boy only because it's the best weapon. Okay. If you had this weapon as Master Chief, would you be using the fucking plasma rifle at any point? Probably no. not. No. <laughs> exactly. You'd be using this fucking like lock on gun. Uh, video games are a waste of time. It's so. just like in video games, whenever you get a weapon, <laughs> and you just sort of like, once you get a weapon that's good, you're never going to use any other weapon. You're just going to use that <laughs> weapon until the game's over. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. That is really cool. Yeah, it's kind of sick. Wow, you've come a long way. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, you've grown as a character and a player. And I got something that just does the game for me, so fuck! Yeah, you did. No! <laughs> Wipe my ass you harder, can't please! Save, you can't save the world anymore. <laughs> we have to wait for a loading screen? You're gonna show me- He's looking at his hand like, why? <laughs> why did I trust such an idiot? <laughs> you abandoned him in the fiery fucking room. Yeah. I trusted him and he just fucking kind of missed a jump. I guess technically you still Whoa. have his data, so he doesn't have to exist anymore. Yeah. You can make a new big T. A new big tight? Mm-hmm. He's not really tight at all, though. I mean, oh, you don't know the half of it. Yeah, we haven't seen anything just yet. We don't know just how tight he can be. Holy shit, watch out, Lyle. That's his catchphrase at the end of the game. It says, yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. <laughs> Who says that? Uh, it's from Die Hard. Bruce oh, Wellington. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, ah! yeah! Do you know Die Hard's a Christmas movie? Sure I've never is. heard that before. Don't at me. You're the first person to say that. Yeah, it's actually, actually a ground-shaking observation. Actually, it was because I saw the Nostalgia Creek review and he really beat me over the head with it until I got my soft spot back. <laughs> uh. He's like, it's a Christmas movie! Look! Christmas reference! Christmas reference! What the hell? Who's this beautiful babe? It's, it's another you. one. They I'm dropped put, off a new one for you? Yeah, I'm gonna put his little eye in there. BT's back in action. He's pissed. That's awesome. Give me a thumbs up, buddy. Turns out they had a cooler looking one. Yeah, he looks awesome. Old paint, same data core. <laughs> good to go. <laughs> fuck yeah. Holy fuck, he hit you on the head with it! 
Hello! Dude, t turn these guys into parts, there you go. Yeah. Don't you want to just get out of your robot and run through here with your kill everything gun? I'm glad that your robot came back. Me too. I was kind of sad without him. Yeah. It's kind of weird, right? Like, you play the game and then you suddenly realize, hey, uh... I mean, this is fun, but where's my big robot that kills everything quickly? I can't wait for the future. You come to a silly place to be! That's true. You're gonna have a big titan walk This is gonna to be par for the course. You're gonna see titans everywhere. Walk up the hill to school. Don't get tired. Get out of titan. See you after school! Titan fucking grows over your grandma's house and smashes the top of the roof. <laughs> smashes the top of your grandma. Gives you a thumbs up. Punches her in the gizzard. <laughs> Grandmas don't have gizzards, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yours doesn't. The, what are what are they called? They're not gizzards, they're uh... Goit. Goiters. That's right. <laughs> Grandmas have goiters. No, punching someone in the gizzard sounds funnier. Gizzards is something that turkeys have, right? Yeah, my grandma. Then they go, Whoa. My grandma the turkey. I think SpongeBob has a gizzard. New Disney show. <laughs> my grandma's a turkey? My grandma the turkey. I'd watch it. I was you always know what? I'm Ronin. Use the Ronin yeah. I was always Ronin because Ronin's fast as fuck. Yeah, Ronin's actually cool. I don't know if it'd be good for this scenario. No, but. I, well, kinda. I mean, I was always Ronin because of the speed. Yeah. I, I prefer speed over anything else. <sighs> You can call and you that. got a fucking sick katana. Look at that. You do. I can't believe we played this till 7 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, we've been playing it nonstop without any breaks. Whew. Good. Thank goodness it was hot. Looks out the window, sees the moon. God, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the moon of 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Looks out the window, sees one bird chirping. Aw, oh, how cute. Brings me back. Brings me back to when I was a young boy watching birds chirping. Birds chirping. <laughs> My favorite childhood fuck? activity. <laughs> <laughs> Sat on my ass outside all day watching birds chirp. Oh, I love waking up in the morning with fucking birds chirping in different, like, rhythms, so it annoys the fuck out of me and I can't fall asleep properly. I, I don't mind, like, constant, like, beep, 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 but, but when it's just a bird going, ah, ah, it needs to be, ah. it needs to be consistent. If, like, you do something that's not repetitive and it goes, like, randomly, like, if a bird goes, ah, It's like really annoying. I don't agree with that. No, no, I think it's, it's way more annoying if it's repetitive. Yeah. But if it's repetitive, you could get into like you could just like zone it out eventually. I can't. I can't. That makes it no, worse. No, that's like what an alarm clock is. Yeah. It just goes. Eh, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can, you, listen. The thing is, you yeah. can eventually zone it out. No, you can't. I can't. No one else can. I can. I haven't mastered <laughs> Ultimate Cory. The. The zen state of meditation where it's you can just- It's not that! It's just like, if you hear a sound long enough, you can just like zone it not out. Not me, no. I can't. Oh, well, I mean, I can. Definitely not. Cause like, Dave takes ten years to wake up, so I just hear his fucking like... With his broken sleep schedule, I go up downstairs to take an afternoon nap. You hear his little bird's nap. alarm clock? His alarm clock's like... It's just like it repeats itself over and over and over to a point where I eventually just like zone it out. Yeah, but he has a burnt black hole in his brain, so he can't help that. Well, that doesn't change anything about the fact that I can eventually take out the alarm clock noise. Well, that's a good skill you've acquired because I'm 30 and I have never been able to fucking master that. However, birds, what? birds are just always annoying, and I don't care. They they have like the most annoying squawks. Nile brought over his little walnut cracker one day and just put a bird into it and cracked his head. Good. It wasn't funny, luck. <laughs> you didn't have to do that in front of everybody. Uh, why? Did everyone? Did anyone at the party think it was cool? Was Was there like one person that started to kind of laugh and then realized nobody else was having it? Well, no. no. I mean, most people did laugh, but it still wasn't that cool. She looks like a zombie. Yeah, these are the two uh, the two final villains, Swatzel and Sloan. Sloan. <laughs> She called, she called her Joan. A fart. Ah, he's doing lasers! I don't know if I'd be Ronan fighting these guys. I would, I'd be someone who's more tanky, dude. I don't know if I'd be the guy I recommended that you be. Be someone that's not <laughs> no, that's, what that's I that's said not, to do. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, when you're fighting a boss, it's okay to switch to someone who's a little more tanky. Alright, oh, am I allowed, Cory? No. Am I allowed? I'm gonna try out a spite to beat it as Ronan. Said, How about that, Cory? I usually Get go fucked. Ronan oh, because God. he's fast. There's really no sense when you're fighting oh. two assholes. What, is there no sense of me kicking that guy's ass? You know, if you want to, like, prove a point, that's fine. But if I was playing Dark Souls and battling two bosses, I wouldn't put on the heaviest armor so I could fat roll and die instantly. 
Well, that's because you're not me. <laughs> well, would you do it just to prove a freaking point? No, I'd do it because I'd probably get hit anyway, and I'm bad at that game. Get fucked, Corey. You're doing pretty good, still. No, I think I just won. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. You gotta fight Salone. Salami. I've gotta fight this nameless tone. <laughs> Cares a robot pilot, so it's not important. You got Sword Art online. I sure did. It's awesome. <laughs> Dude, yes. Oh, you're still alive? Get out of here, you fucking Chris, goose. Chris, that's a reference I thought you could never fucking make. I don't I've never seen it. Not on this channel. I've never seen it, and I don't know anything about it, but I know it exists. That's about it. Well, if it's any consolation, it shouldn't exist. So. <laughs> oh, you're about to get fucked, Sloan! Nice. Ugh. I'm gonna yank this thing out, and I'm gonna fucking- I'm gonna go boop in its mouth, and it's gonna fucking go, Ooh, stab it! And I'm gonna go beep 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 <laughs> On his little face. Cooper! Load. He says he's gonna blow a load in your mouth. Do you hear him? Cooper, make a sweet remix of my voice. Did Cooper become See, you could BTB? do that before a bass drop, it would sound fucking killer. Did Cooper's soul get put into BTB? Yeah, they are one. There's like some Five Nights at Freddy's shit. That's your lucky day, hero. Get off my screen. <laughs> I don't work for free. I hate this guy. Yeah, he's kind of a bastard. Stop squatting on me. To kill me. He's in a very revealing position. You see his big RGB penis yeah. hanging down Good there. Design. Apex. Apex. What? Wait, hold on the phone. Should have put it in my contract. You better not Should've think I'm cool in the next <laughs> game. <laughs> what if that thing just squished him? <laughs> He's just gonna leave you be. I wouldn't trust a robot to pick me up. I wouldn't trust a guy to give me any- just any dang Pokemon card. Now you know the origin story to Apex Legends, Chris. Finally. If you ever want a more boring game, <laughs> give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> I got a silly clown outfit with your name on it. I don't know what they fucking have <laughs> in that game. They got like... Elves and like... Snowmen clothes and shit. <laughs> You can dress up like a pirate. If cares. you ever want to be an elf on my shelf, <laughs> you know where to go. You can! Oh my god, nag, nag, nag. You gotta find a way to do the thing that you came here to do. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> maybe like, get up or something. Why are they telling you something that you already know? Yeah. That, hey, you had a mission! Stop sleeping! <laughs> to be fair, sometimes I forget and I just get a little tired. It's okay, this scripted event will do it for you. Don't worry. I'm climbing it like King King. You see, you're fused with BT. Yeah, I, I got melted it. That would actually be cool if you got like melted into his chassis mm, And then you were BT in the next game. That would be sick Actually, you know what? I don't know if Cooper is uh, I don't know if I, I think BT is more likable than Cooper if like in the next game your Titan was like I am a guy uh, and I think like, you eh. die here Right oh! <laughs> No, no, Big Titty dies. Oh, this is the end what? of fucking Spider-Man Multiverse. Yeah. Yeah. But wait, this game they first- They exploded to millions of hey, multiverses. Hey, Spider-Man ripped this off! It's also kind of the end of Big Hero 6. Yeah, oh, you're right. Go get, get BT! I gotta get to the eject point! Run up that fucking thing, baby! Oh. No! Ugh. Dude, this is fucking sick. It is sick. This is like the last platform bit. Oh! oh! Whoa! Why'd it do that? Because it's a scripted event. What's your love? It's switching it up on you. Yeah, this does look really cool. Holy shit. This game is a fucking spectacle, dude. They did such a good job. This is like, remember the end of Halo 3 when you're riding on your fucking mongoose while the world's exploding around you? Yeah, yeah. and it looks really fake and shitty. Yeah, it's just, it's it's just pallets falling down. <laughs> Imagine if it was this. I do like Imagine that part. it's just like this fucking debris is flying at you. Yeah, I like that part gameplay-wise, but yeah, it doesn't look great. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! oh! Sheila, get me out of here! <laughs> Ugh. It was sure convenient that you were in that exact spot at that exact time. Come yeah, on, man. Don't make fun of the video. 
Oh, I'm sorry, man. Look, that's the planet explode. I love it when planets go kabooey. Oh! Everyone on that planet was an asshole. That, is that Earth? No. No, this isn't- if they do a Planet of the Apes right now where she grabs you and goes, Look at that, and it's the Statue of Liberty's head floating through space. <laughs> what if the Statue of Liberty head winked at you? <laughs> like at the end of Freddy vs. Jason where he's carrying Freddy's head and yeah. the stick <laughs> <laughs> winks. I love that. <laughs> but it's like, ah! You know, I, I don't know if that would be a terrible idea, where it's like, everybody on this planet's an asshole, and then they blow it up at the end, and then you, there's something that indicates that it, it, it Earth. It Earth. It Earth! <laughs> You're talking about this bullshit when you just had the most fun ever. I did, yeah. It was good. And Can there, there he is. The Lyle character McDouche that's bag. me. <laughs> it's you. Turn hey around guys. and show the world. That's you?! You suck. You look like Ben Affleck or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you had a tiny Ben Affleck's head on your desk I and I thought do. that you I thought that you had ordered a tiny replica of my face? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really say that? I, d I was like, yeah, because I looked at it and I was like, what the fuck? You think you look like Ben Affleck? I think I look like that that not very accurate toy <laughs> head of Ben Affleck it that looks you have. It just like him. It's weird that we're seeing Cooper now. We've never seen him at any other point. It's Cooper's Poopers, dude. That's the name of this track on the OST is Cooper's Poopers. Sounds like that's one of those beatbox battle videos. Sonic, also the <laughs> Sonic says, you're like Cooper's Poopers. Matthew Mercer, that's Leon S. Kennedy. You know, this guy's just standing around, Smiling. grinning all the time. <laughs> I liked him better when he had to kill. <laughs> well, just think when he's stabbing and fucking slitting throats, he's smiling like that. Oh, you think he was doing that the whole time? Yeah, his <laughs> model never frowned. <laughs> That's the grand reveal at the end. The whole time, not only were you doing this, but you were grinning like an asshole. <laughs> what is up with this fucking music? <laughs> It's that guy, the guy who's been nothing but nice to you. This is like when you're running <laughs> the from the- strings are just screaming. <laughs> I know, this is like the ending of a horror movie where you're running from the- the. It's like the climactic scene where you're climbing the top of the fucking house to try and get away from like Freddy. <laughs> He's about to slice at you. She was actually cool. Anonymous was pretty I sick, yeah. Anna uh, Campbell he painted scary ass. teeth on his robot. Yeah. Look at his Ew, milky eye. Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Dude, I'd fill up a glass of milk with that eye. <laughs> He's like, white. I love these shots of all the robots standing around. Look at that guy. Fuzzy bumpkin. He snuck out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look That's at that robot character. with the fucking teeth. That looks sick as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Editor, give Evan Boyman as va Viper an erection. Put a black <laughs> bar sticking out. <laughs> Don't do that. That's mean. Do do that actually, you're right. That's give funny. her a microphone to sing into. <laughs> <laughs> With the up inside, see me. She's just not holding it up to her face. She's there, you go. Bigger yeah, drop than my right dropped there. it like Eminem, yeah. <laughs> and there's Eminem now. <laughs> Captain Sparkles. He's fading away. I, I thought it said in special guest General Martyr, but his name is Nicholas Guest. <laughs> Isn't that the one who got stuck in the ceiling? This is the iconic character, Gates. Courtney Gates. I don't even remember that person. He was the first robot you Do you took remember the this person? Up. Absolutely not, no. Holy I have a crap. sneaking suspicion that this game was originally planned to be a little bit bigger. Mm, and it kind of got cut down to this really lean and tight, like... Which, honestly, probably worked in its favor. Yeah. Could you imagine if your best friend was a robot and then you could just get him a new arm for his birthday and then he'd have three arms forever. I think what I would do is I would tear each part of the titans from the opposing team and put them on my robot to make the ultimate titan. Because I would have like the ronin arm for the weapon, I would have like the brute gun, and then I would have like the legs of the guy who's like really fast. I'd be the ultimate titan, nothing could beat me. Well, how do you know he wouldn't be off balance and fall over, Corey? You don't think about these things from an engineering perspective like me, a fucking genius. I only look at it what's cool and fun, not so the you're technicalities. A hmm? Yeah. Ask me any question about anything and Ooh. I will know the answer. Your what is what, Oh yeah, what, what is the batteries in the robots made out of? It's made out of elevenium. <laughs> It's you know what? The I was even element to that I that. discovered personally. It's face touchy as the man. <laughs> Why is this guy smiling like that? I hate that. <laughs> it just saved the world. <laughs> His hair was flashing. I, I like how we went a full glitchless experience. That was the <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> then in the last second, they just slid one under the table to us. 
Thanks. <laughs> they, they really tried there. They should put production babies, and then after all of that, it should go, and you. <laughs> <laughs> Our biggest production baby. <laughs> What the fuck does all this mean? <laughs> I don't know. What about the I-8-9 team lead? Oh, you don't want to talk about them, but the Luqua testers? <laughs> those guys. Oh, the they audio capture together. specialist assistant. I think that was kind of the backbone of the whole uh, operation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the SVP of business development and publisher and development relations. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what these jobs are. And there you go. Oh, the helmet was real all along. See, there's a spirit. Cooper's soul's still in it. Starts rolling towards the North Pole. <laughs> putting the iron giant back together. 